Hi there. Um, Tom here, everyone. Um, t before I begin today's how-to, I would just like to make a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all of you out there um, so far who have subscribed and who have watched my videos. I really appreciate the support and I am really glad that my videos have helped you if they have in one way or another um which i thank you most gladly for the that would lead me nicely on to my second announcement which is and i won't say why but in a little while maybe a little longer but not not too soon um there'll be like a long time uh, perhaps where I will not make a single video but that doesn't mean I've given up on YouTube um, I'm not going to say what it is but like it's just this big uh, thing and uh, so yeah I'm not I'm, um, so there will come a point where I'm, I, I won't put a video on for a while but um, just to show you that I am still here I will put some comments around here and there just so you know that I'm still there so again, thanks for your support, and I have—I won't have given up on YouTube, and it might that not be that long anyway. So that'll be good anyway. So today, um, I thought I would do a video on how to encrypt files easily. Um, now, wouldn't it not be easy if you could simply right-click on a file and choose encrypt and maybe password protect well unfortunately um, you can't do that that easily so right here I have a program um, you go to this website uh, which I'll just copy uh, just go to this website it's called encrypt files and it's totally free um, and uh, yeah, it's it's very easy to use. I'll I'll install it right now. So yeah, so just go to this website, and I'll put that in the, in the description. So here's the installer right here. Um, excuse me. Here's the installer right here. Um, it's not very big at all. It's very small. And I'll just install it right now. For you, so, so we'll go next. I accept. Next. Next. Yes, I actually uninstalled it because I just wanted to show you how easy it was. I uninstall, and it's very, very fast as you can see. So, launch the program. Okay, so here we go. It's a very easy to use thing. Uh, help we have about um, check for updates that will take you to a page. If you need an update, it'll say there's a new version available. If you don't need an update, it'll say you have the latest one. So I'm just going to dive right into it. So in in settings, the one there's one thing I think you should set, and that's enable encrypting entire directory uh, entire directories. So that allows you to encrypt a folder and all the subfolders that are in it. To be honest, really, I I just like to have it like that and just nothing else. So I just say leave it at that. Um, it actually looks like the Windows XP Explorer at the uh, side there. So yeah, it's. It's pretty uh, much self-explanatory, really. So, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to um, quickly make a folder. Um, I call this ink. Cause I'll put, uh, basically, I'll just, I'll just do. So, uh, copy all those and uh, paste them in there. You know, uh, nothing particular really, I just need something to test it out. So, as you see, like say for instance Google Chrome, double click that, and, uh, sorry, my system is lagging. 
and it launches Google Chrome so it works, you know. So but so it's very easy, you simply just go to the directory, so that's Windows users uh Tom from my computer because I am Tom desktop and here it is ink then you have encrypt and decrypt so that is not uh, encrypted so I'm going to click encrypt and I will put in a password so for this I'll put in demo and demo and then all you do is cl uh, remember that password of course and click encrypt and the encryption's done that's it okay and you can close the program by the way, you don't have to leave it open. So now I want to go in, as you can see, they are all encrypted. So if I was to double click that, it does no longer work. I would actually have to re encrypt the file. So, and um, this also works with de uh, text documents as well. So I have like a link for malware in there for something I've been doing. So. Um, for that, I'll just go into the program. So, desktop, uh, link malware. So, if I was to open that, it would have like a. Just check the time here. Okay. So, obviously, if I was to open up this te the text document, um, I would have whatever written down. So, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click encrypt. I'm going to have the same password as before. I'm going to click encrypt. It's done. OK. Uh, list the um, encrypted stuff in red. So now when I double click on it, it, uh, it does still display it, but it displays it as a load of crap basically. So it's a really good way of doing it. Um, and I'll just quickly show you how to decrypt, uh, select it, decrypt, put in your password, which it seems to have remembered, which is not good because someone can easily, you know, so I suppose, actually, if I just open up the program again, because I just want to make sure you know that it's... Well, it's lovely, uh, Sorry about this. Um, one second. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, basically, the computer was going funny. It didn't put the um, the it 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 wasn't shown in the start menu. So anyway, um, basically, you just go back to where that was. Uh, basically, uh, you see, I I think it was still showing the password. Be because I didn't close the program down so um I'm gonna go to that I'm going to click decrypt I'm gonna put in my password decrypt and now I should be able to view it so yeah I can now view that the um the folder as well, of course. I'll click decrypt. Decrypt there. Okay. And as you can see, I will now be able to use those. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, that was just like a really simple program that you can use to easily encrypt files. Um, it's very easy to use, it's absolutely free, I'll put the link in the description and you're welcome to it. Well, uh, I hope this has some help to you, thanks for watching this video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, bye bye.